Hello everyone. Hopefully you're having an amazing Martin Luther King day today. And in honor of today being Martin Luther King's day and uh, him having a dream, um, this is one of the videos I'm going to actually try to contain my emotions um, to share here with you guys that I believe that um, everyone has a dream inside of them and some people die before that dream actually comes to fruition. And when I say die, I don't mean physically die. They mentally die on the inside. And most people actually fight till the very end to make their dreams come through. So for some of you who don't know my story or haven't been following with me, um, my name is Obam Bowen. I'm the author of the book, The Philosophy of Success, and my new book about to come out, um, Passions 365. I'm not here to talk about those, but just you can probably Google me and find out who I am a bit. Um, and that might help you out. But what I really wanted to share today is, is pretty much you know, my dream, and I have a dream as well. And my dream was to bring you know, happiness and love to this world. It was the very reason I actually joined the, you know, network marketing after leaving the military. And again, if you're looking at this for the first time, here's a quick snippet of my story. I grew up in the military in a sense, and I joined when I was 17 years old, served for 17 years, was injured in Iraq, um, had a broken back, was in a wheelchair, paralyzed for about nine months, and then I ended up um, homeless living in my car when I first got out of the military. And I've always had a dream to be very successful. What I do know is this, in the United States, there's two different phases or two types of people, and there's either the entrepreneurs or those that work for entrepreneurs. So whether you're a business owner or you, you, know, you have a job, you either fall into one or two categories to basically live in the pursuit of your dream or your happiness, whatever that is, right? So entrepreneurs are the business owners, those are the CEO, those are the risk takers. And that word in itself actually, in French, was its original context of taken from, means the risk taker or one who takes risks. So sometimes you don't understand, um, the people who take the biggest risk, of course, takes you know gets the biggest reward. So my dream was to bring um, love and happiness to this planet and you know being able to be financially free and successful to do that of course it will take money to be able to bring love and happiness to the world and i was actually thinking for years how am i able to do that and i wanted to do that through marriages i suffered a divorce myself from my first marriage and i basically went back to school and my wife who i'm currently married to right now uh, we're living a fairy tale life it's been like that for about uh, almost a decade my wife and I when we actually started dating we would attend marriage retreats four of them a year and we've been doing that now for four well actually seven years this January actually this weekend we're going to our first one for the year and there's three more to go so we actually eventually launched our own company um, that based around marriages and relationship enrichment retreats and courses to help people but one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna do courses for not just the um, the married couples we're going to do courses for single men and women and for children as well so you can take your whole family we've been to several um retreats where some people couldn't make it that are good friends of ours because they couldn't have um their kids there with them so we'll provide services for that too and it's amazing because that company is officially launched and we're working on a few things to come out right now which are really passionate about so why am i really sharing that with you martin luther king had a dream and that dream has is, is, is come to a little bit of fruition now where he said, you know, I had a dream of white boys and black boys who play together, right? His dream. So my dream was to bring that. But in order to do so, I also had to be able to be financially free. That's why I chose network marketing. That was my dream. That was my goal. That was my why, right? So some people ask, what's your why? If your why isn't big enough to make you cry, then it's not important enough. And that was mine. Mine was to bring love to this world but then i also had the challenge how can i take that and even financially benefit from it and that's why i created uh, my company is to help couples and enrich the lives of millions of people in fact my goal is to change over a billion marriages that's going to happen over the course of the next 20 years why am i sharing this video today is to this if you're that person my, maybe you probably joined network marketing because you wanted a better life or you're starting some kind of business, you're an entrepreneur, you're a risk taker, and you want to create whatever it is for you. So whatever reason that drives you, sometimes you got to get down to that. So for us, the reason why we worked our network marketing business so much in the beginning and continue will never stop is so that we can generate the income to do the things you wanted to do. For example, 
when I wanted to share my knowledge from my struggle to having success, I wrote a book. That book wasn't cheap. You had to pay for the book. It cost thousands of dollars. Just to get the first book into someone's hand, I had to spend thousands of dollars to make that happen. Same with the next book. Now that we want to change lives and marriages, it costs money to launch that company and go out. And that's why I will always continue to build my network marketing and business to fuel what I truly want to do, which is make the change, right? Because Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. I live as a marriage of example to the world. I want to be that change. So my wife and I model that for everyone else. So sometimes people have the pie in the sky dream. It's not the car. It's not the big fancy house. It's not the one with the you know people floating from here and there and everywhere else. When all the big financial money things are done, what would you want to do or see in your life? What can you do without actually having to work? And if you can actually work and do it, man, that's a great place. And my wife, one of her large reasons is to really have her own uh, gorilla habitat, which is one of the things we're working on right now. And she's like so excited. She's been drawing gorillas, taking pictures of gorillas, and all kinds of stuff going. We're in the process of buying some amazing sized land right now to be able to do that in Colorado. Crazy, right? But you gotta ask yourself, what is it? What is your dream? What is your goal? What is your reason for doing whatever it is you're doing? So I want to end the video here and say this. If you're not a network marketer and you're looking for something to do on the side, I would love to reach out and touch and help and mentor you and help you accomplish your dream, your goal, your why, your reason, whatever it is. If you're in network marketing, I would definitely tell you, reach out and find the person in your support team because there's someone there to help you have success. If you don't have some folks you, you, know, you can't work with, hey, send me a message, inbox me, I'd be happy to help you. And if you're in network marketing, you're in Nerium, you're on my team or in the company, anything we can do to help, let me know. Go to my Facebook fan page. If you're seeing this there or on YouTube, go to my Facebook fan page. It's Facebook the modern prince charming obam that's the facebook page the modern prince charming obam and find me there send me any questions anything you have let me know what we can do to help you god bless you guys take care i have a dream i'm bringing it to fruition and we are in fact it is here right and it's exciting that's why i really want to share that with you guys today and i hope whatever your dream is if you need help finding your dream your why your reason for being here i believe this Right? And in my, my, my new book, I, I share that there, that we were born and put here on this earth for two things. One, the first day when we realize why we're here, and the next day to share that purpose with the world. With that, you guys take care. Happy Martin Luther King Day. God bless, and see you next time.